The Icelandic Physiologus is a translation of the 2nd century Greek manuscript, adapted from a later Latin version and generally attributed to having been circulated in the 13th century. It follows the general structure of its counterparts, combining short profiles of different animals, birds, and mythical creatures with allegorical moralizations of a Christian nature. Most entries are accompanied by illustrations with ranging accuracy, some that even represented being of the best interpretations of the time, and others showing a clear misunderstanding. Representing some of the oldest known literature preserved throughout Icelandic history, the Physiologus demonstrates its importance with the reach of its influence and other works of a similar, moralizing nature, which extended over much of Icelandic literature that followed. The elephant Latin versions of the Physiologus often contained a myriad of entries that ranged from exotic quadrupeds to mythical beasts to birds, trees, and stones. Entries in the Icelandic fragments are visibly more scarce in diversity, focusing most heavily on birds and common forest-dwelling animals, with the notable inclusions of the whale, the siren, two instances of the Ono centaur, and the monkey. Problems regarding geography may have prompted translators to leave out certain entries that were of the most confusion, since they may not have even heard of certain beasts, let alone seen them in person. The most conspicuous absence in this case is of the lion, which appears as the first entry in a great number of European bestiaries of the time. Described in its profile as a Christ figure due to the heroic nature often assigned to it throughout ancient and medieval mythology, the first spot in the Icelandic manuscript is instead replaced by the phoenix, whose behaviors and moralization are of a similar nature. In regards to a reason why this change may be present, one could look at the fact that the majority of entries in the two fragments are of birds, a type of animal that Icelanders would often have seen. The whale stands out in the Icelandic physiologus as the only animal to have two moralized behaviors, and an illustration that presents a close resemblance. Along with the appearances of the different birds that are documented in the two fragments, an argument could be made that the translators had made a conscious choice to include animals that Icelanders would have recognized, aside from the more fantastic beasts that appear. Encounters with whales are documented often in Icelandic literature, there were even laws in the country as far back as the mid-10th century revolving around their function as crucial resources. As it was with many of the beasts whose descriptions were distorted through broken translation, it seems to stay true that reaching a point in which the author could create a moralization for the entry held the most importance.